depending on the resource availability, perfusion imaging, uh, diffusion weighted MRI, uh, and quantitative MRI, those, those imaging modalities are not necessarily available. Uh, I'll say um, where I practice at Cooper University Hospital, we have perfusion imaging and we have MRI, uh, but we don't use them for medical decision making. We uh, often make the decision to proceed with thrombectomy based on uh, CT alone. Uh, we've found, and, and, and other studies have corroborated this, that uh, patients who undergo CT angiogram, uh, CT perfusion imaging, uh, and, and sometimes even MRI, that can delay uh, treatment. Um, and with uh, some of these newer trials that we've just discussed, um, look, especially looking at large core, uh, CT is often enough. Um, the, the imaging that the imaging findings we get from CT perfusion or from MRI uh, can give us information about prognostication. Uh, it's useful for understanding the treatment effect modifier. It, it, it's useful as treatment effect modifiers, but doesn't necessarily say that thrombectomy is not uh, useful or is not effective in these patient populations. Um, CT, we're finding more and more uh, is good enough uh, in the right clinical context.